Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Charlie and I'm a freelance photographer currently living in Coventry. Uh, I thought I'd make this YouTube channel to share some of the photographs and some of the work that I get up to in my spare time. This video is about a shoot that I went on uh, last week. So I went out around 9am in the morning to capture these photographs. It was really misty and quite foggy outside. It proved to be quite hard to edit these photos but I'm gonna go through the six images that I edited and talk about uh, how I edited them and what I think will look good for my Instagram. So my Instagram account is Charlie Allen Film. So all of these photographs that I've uh, edited on this video will be shared onto onto that Instagram page. Um, so make sure to give me a follow and let's jump straight into this video. First photograph that I captured it was um, just at the back of where I live. Um, so the first thing I did was I cropped it by f uh, to four by five. That's for Instagram. Um, and then I started by increasing the clarity on the pylon and then uh, just increased the brightness of the blacks a little bit more and then the sky I wanted to keep it quite bright but obviously I didn't want it overpowering the, the photograph so I used a gradient for the bottom of the photo um, and I added a little bit of clarity and dehazed it slightly um, and then I added another gradient on the background um, so I changed the hue a little bit and also increased, increased the clarity on that and then yeah I just cropped it a little bit more just to make sure it's nice and straight checked the background so it's good to flip between black and white um, just to see if it worked well for Instagram and then yeah I exported that photo so this was the next image that I used um, I started off by cropping the photograph by uh, 4x5 again this was like part of an old train and it was just literally put in a field but I started by changing the hue of the photo and the temperature a little bit. I added a gradient on the grass and just to make it a little bit greener because there was not a lot of colour in this photo. So I also reduced the shadows a little bit of the grass and then added another gradient on top. So with this one I increased the temperature a little bit because it was a little bit blue and then I also added some exposure to the windows in the the train as well. I just messed around a little bit with the grain, cropped it in a little bit more. Yeah, that was about it to this image really, um, and exported that one. And this is the next photo, so this again was along that same stretch of road and it was just a car that was left um, in a field. I started off by making sure it was cropped well and everything was in line and nice and straight, and then I started off by changing the hue of the grass, increasing the saturation and like reducing the vibrancy. It does have quite a nice effect, um, but the main thing I wanted to draw attention to was like the the frost on the windows. So I added another gradient just for the sky. So I increased the clarity a little bit and then uh, changed the temperature. And that was it. This photo didn't really need that much editing done to it, to be honest. I think it works well for like, being put on Instagram too. This was the third image that I used. So I was flicking between these few here and this was the one I decided on. I like to use rule of third. So I was deciding whether to keep uh, most of the sky and most of the railway and I decided to go with this one. I increased the blacks a little bit, increased the clarity, brightened the photo and then changed the temperature um, and then oh okay I went back into using this crop um, I guess I just thought it worked well I think it does work all right. Uh, messed around with the dehaze slightly but to be honest, I don't really edit these photos too much. I think they look quite nice, like straight out of the camera, to be honest. I reduced the clarity on the sky a little bit, just so it's got a nice graduation from the train track into into the mist. Um, and that was about it, really. So this is the next photo. I really didn't edit this too much. I think the only changes I made was cropping it, increasing the clarity a little bit, and then brighten in the dark. That was probably about it, I just changed the temperature slightly. And then dehaze was a tool that I used a lot here because obviously the mist sort of distorts quite a lot of, it, of the image and you can't really see too far into the distance. So by changing that you can see a little bit more of the photo. Um, I just yeah, messed around with the shadows a little bit. Yeah, and that was it and exported that photo. And this is the final photo. So this was at the start of my walk. There's a water tower just along the side. Um, of this row of houses and obviously it was really hard to see this so um, I did struggle quite a lot trying to bring this into like the forefront of the photo um, but obviously by adding too much um, clarity or dehazing it too much then obviously it just looks a little bit out of place. What I wanted to do was get these um, these phone cables or whatever they are um, to work well with the houses and then just to make sure that that water tower is the main 
focus point of the image. So I did a lot of editing to this photo and most of it was using the brush tool and using the gradient tool just to literally put a focus on the background. So here I'm just changing the exposure slightly, changing the temperature a little bit and that was it. So these are the final images that I took. If you follow my Instagram Charlie Allen Film they'll hopefully all be on there by the time this video comes out. So thank you for watching, be sure to share this video and comment what you'd like me to do in the future. I'll probably be going out later this week, some locations you've not seen before, so I'll be going there with my camera, taking some nice landscape shots. But I'm interested in doing some uh, POV shots as well, so maybe purchasing a GoPro, putting that on my chest and literally going around capturing the photos so you can literally be watching me line up my shots and photograph everything I do and then I'll jump onto Lightroom and do more of these edit with me because I think they're quite interesting. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.